how did you even get into Sora 2? I mean, seriously, that's wild, okay. Three is coming on January 1st, 2026. Yes, it's real. So, you've heard about Sora 2, right? Everyone's talking about it. The craziest AI video tool ever. They're not wrong. But here's the thing. You can't even get in without an invite. And once you're in, surprise, there's no clear way to download your video. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that, how to get your invite, how to download your videos properly, and how to remove that annoying watermark once and for all. You shall not pass without an invite. Part 1. How to get your Sora 2 invite. Once you open the Sora 2 homepage and click Join New Sora, you'll see this screen. You can't go any further without an invite code. So, how do you actually get one? Let's go through a few ways that really work. First method, ask a friend. If someone you know already got in, just ask them to share one of their invite codes. Each user gets four of them. Once you've got your code and logged in, you can finally start enjoying Sora 2. So, Sharing is caring. Seven. On the screen. Second method, check the comments. Look specifically under Sora 2 related videos on YouTube or other video platforms. That's where people are actively dropping invite codes in the comments. You'll need to be fast. Once a code is used, it usually expires immediately. If a code doesn't work, refresh the comments or the page and try the next one. Keep refreshing and scanning the newest replies. Also check pinned comments and recent replies. Creators sometimes repost fresh codes there. Third method, join the OpenAI Discord community. On Reddit, search for Sora2 invite code. You'll find a post that links directly to the OpenAI's Discord server. Once you're in, go to the invite sharing channel. You'll see people constantly asking and others dropping fresh codes every few minutes. It's honestly a race. Be fast, be polite, and you'll probably get in. And by the way, I've put my invite code on screen. And if you manage to get in, please share your code down in the comments so more people can join too. Just one code left. Choose wisely. Let's move on to the next step, downloading your videos properly. So here's something important about downloading your videos. You can only download videos that are already published, including ones made by other users. But the tricky part is your draft videos. The ones still sitting in your drafts folder can't be downloaded directly. And sometimes we actually need those draft videos. Maybe you're still editing, testing prompts, or just not ready to post publicly. That's where this little trick comes in. We found a browser plugin that lets you download any Sora video, even from your drafts. I've dropped the link in the comments section so you can grab it there. Once it's installed, you'll see a small download button appear in the top right corner of your Sora page. You can also click the plugin icon in your browser to save the video directly. Simple, fast, and yes, it works perfectly. Please don't leak my cat video. Too late. Already downloaded. Now we're going to use a free online tool to remove the watermark. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description. Once you upload your Sora video to the website, you'll see this icon here. It lets you select the area you want to remove. Because the Sora watermark keeps changing its position throughout the video, you need to make sure all watermark spots are covered. This icon highlights the area with a brush shape, while the previous one used a rectangular frame. The eraser icon allows you to erase the previously selected area. After checking everything, click on the Remove Now button. In less than a minute, the watermark will be completely gone. Let's take a look at the result. As you can see, the video looks perfectly clean, and you can now use it freely without any distracting marks. If this helped you, drop your invite code in the comments. Don't forget to give it a like and share it with someone who's still waiting to join Sora too.